Welcome to My Life Japan, the show about the foreign experience in Japan. I'm your host, Alan Welch. Let's talk Japanese trains. Punctual, packed, peaceful, usually. So let's start. Let's start. Let's start. Japanese trains are world famous for having a very unique passenger packing capacity. The Japanese even have an expression for tight situations like that, sushi zume, which means packed like sushi. In my opinion, one of the greatest things about the Japanese is their harmony. When that train door opens, people step off like nothing ever happened. Zero drama. Okay, there is a chikan problem, but that's for another show. Anyway, in the middle of rush hour, a businessman managed to get a seat. Now, of course, there are people sitting squished in on either side of him, and standing directly over the businessman was a really kind of awkward, skinny camper dude of some sort. He was wearing a Hawaiian shirt, like cargo shorts with a canteen strap to it, knee socks, and a sun hat. Oh, and it was winter. After a while, for some reason, the businessman starts. Sighing really audibly in the direction of the camper dude, which to some doesn't seem like much of an insult at all. <gasps> But in Japan, when you direct that at someone and combo it with teeth sucking, so everybody on the train started to feel really sorry for the camper dude because this a-hole <clears> guy <throat> is just basically bullying him over something he can't control. You know, he's just standing there. Very, very rare. So this goes on for a while. Next stop. Crazy town. Non, non, this car. Yo, he slapped the Ohio Gozai Masada dude. Man, that must have been a long train ride. Finally, the train mercifully pulls into the bully businessman stop. But here's the thing: now camper dude is not letting the business guy up. How about you? Do you have a funny or unusual train ride experience in Japan? Leave it in the comment section below. In the meantime, you can hit me up on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and I will see you on the next episode. Johnny.